A tornado destroyed his home, but not his Christmas spirit. Andrea Lucia live in Rowlett tonight, where one over the top Christmas display is a shining symbol of the community's recovery. Now the neighbors are used to seeing an extravagant Christmas display in front of this home. They weren't expecting quite so much this year, though. Most of what you see is brand new. The clock counting down to Christmas over here is one of the few surviving decorations from last year. Makes me feel like a kid again. Anita Crawford had to stop to see the lights. I love that big old Rudolph. It's great. It's hard to believe it. It was so bad just a year ago. My house was, was heavily damaged. Uh, this was gone. Mike DeLott has decorated his lawn for 10 years now. It was just as eye catching last year when the tornado tore through the day after Christmas. We found things uh, as far as a mile away. DeLott's home had to be gutted and rebuilt. But when he moved back in May, he was already planning this year's display. I see no reason to to uh, not continue this. Last year I did about 28,000 lights. Uh, I think I'll go over that this year. It's my Christmas present to the neighborhood. With some neighbors still struggling to recover, it is a welcome sign of what's possible. To see somebody come back like this and decorate and have that kind of spirit, it's just, it's awesome. Amazing. Alyssa McKinley just keeps driving by. And we love coming by to see it. It brightens our day. The house brings a smile to her face, just as it was meant to. The lot says he is fortunate insurance covered the cost of replacing his decorations. You can come see them yourself here on the 8500 block of Linda Vista Drive in Rowlett. Reporting live in Rowlett, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Right